y'all. I'm excited today. I'm going to come and ask you for a favor, a really big favor. I'm going to ask that you give me some recipes. Our church has decided to go ahead and do the fundraiser for cookbooks, and I'm really excited about it. Now, I can't do this by myself. I need everybody participating. What I'm going to ask for is a minimum, a minimum of 15 recipes. I need five main dishes, five side dishes, and five desserts that you like. I'm gonna say that you love, okay? These are things that you put out on your table for your family. These are things that you'll bring to a Sunday potluck. These are things that you serve for your holiday. You know, you set that out there and you, mm, I made that one, you know. <laughs> These are the kind of recipes I'm looking for. Now, that's only a minimum. If you have more than that, honey, I'd be thrilled for you to give me all your good recipes. However, I want recipes that you yourself have tried or that uh, maybe your mother makes on a regular basis, something that you have ate. Do not, do not send me recipes that you have read in a magazine that you thought sounded good, but you have not cooked them, you have not ate them. That's not the ones I want because I want this recipe book to be authentic, guaranteed kind of eating that when they make a recipe, it will be good and palatable for their family. Now, last time I had said that I would show y'all some of my recipe books. So I've got some here from some of the churches that we've been out. And, uh, you know, uh, these are just three that uh, I grabbed before I came in here to make this video and they're good recipe books. And then I have this one that is great because it's a one that, you know, if you found one in a magazine and you cut that out, but you don't have a home for it, you glue it in there and it puts them all together for you. So what I'm asking again is those good recipes that you have made or someone close to you has made and you have ate so that we can have good authentic recipes. Now I'm also going to ask that you uh, write your recipe down and then don't mail it to me. Don't email it to me. Let Look at it, proofread it two times. And then set it aside and come back a day or two later and then reread over it, reproofread it, and then give it to me so that we can cut down on as many errors as possible because I don't want any errors in it at all. I, I don't want there to be mistakes. And sometimes that happens. We don't mean to, but that's why we proofread. My teachers, can I get an amen? So, recipes. I need them. Again, 15 is all I'm asking as a minimum. And, uh... Please, I would love more, honey. Give me more. But also, I have a section in there for breads. And if you're a bread maker or you have a special bread that you like to make, I would love that. Uh, but don't count that as the 15. Give me that as extra, okay? Because that's going to go in a different section. And um, these are things that I love, y'all. I love bread. I've got some good desserts because my husband and uh, children, they like their dessert. But bread is my dessert. I can just sit and make a meal from bread. Um, but that is that is things that I want. And also, uh, whatever you're making, if you've got little tips and tricks that go with that, please add that in. I know I've got little tips and things that I do that I've learned over time that how I make it, you know, if I was going to make a roux for my gumbo or jambalaya or even the etouffees, um, there's certain, certain things that I do in order to get that turnout correctly. And those are things that are important to the recipe. So I'm excited y'all. Email them, text them, mail them, snail mail it, they call that, or give it to me in person. So anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all start getting your recipes together. Bye-bye.